What's up everybody? OMB. Hey look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit that bell icon to be notified for future videos. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yep, I'm in the process of moving y'all. You know what I mean? So just give me a little bit more time. But this case here, I had to talk about this one. B. I, I gotta make an exception on this one. Because this is this here is crazy news episode two. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to be a straight damn nutcase to be doing stuff like this. And the bad thing is, is that you're being trusted. They 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 they, they trust these people with people's lives. You know what I'm saying? Being man, wait till y'all hear this. A UK surgeon who autographed his initials onto patient's liver is now permanently barred from practicing medicine. Excuse this whole let me let me do this real quick, y'all. Sorry about that little pause there, but I had to make an adjustment. But yo, he autographed his initials onto a patient's liver. Who the dude? If I would have found that out, I think with every bit of strength I had left, I would have tried to kick your ass from where you lived at to where I live at and everywhere else, B. Yo, that's like straight violation. Yo, that's like a. Yo, let me read the story, B. A UK surgeon who emblazoned his initials onto patients' liver was removed from medical practice. Now, this happened in 2013. He pleaded guilty in 2017. And it went on to at least to about last year. Well, apparently this year, but last year was the, you know, yeah, I'll just read it. He was discovered by another doctor when one of the transplanted livers failed a week later his his suspension was lifted in june but a medical tribunal on monday decided to permanently bar him from practice now let's get to the story simul bramhall i believe that's how you say it pleaded guilty in 2017 to using an argon beam machine during surgery to brand his initials on two transplanted livers, one in February 2017 and another in August of 2013. My bad. Yeah, no, my bad. One on August of February 2013 and another in August of 2013, according to the documents. Bram Hall's 1.6 inch initials were discovered by another doctor when one of the transplanted livers failed a week later. He's f anyway, the act was born out of a degree of professional ignorance. The medical tribunal said Monday he was initially suspended for his post. As a consultant surgeon in 2013, the same year his initials were found on the livers <clears throat> and resigned from his job at Birmingham's Queen Elizabeth Hospital in 2014 while being investigated. Yeah, you, we, a lot of y'all like to do that. The Brandon also landed um, Brom Hall two convictions for common assault in December 2017 for which he was fined $13,619 and sentenced to community service per the MPTS. I'm sorry, community service? $13,000? Yeah, he put his initials on somebody's freaking organ, B. He played, and then one failed. He's playing with they love. Man, the tribunal review reviewed his actions in December 2020 and suspended him from medical practice at least for at least five months, but later revoked the suspension in June 2021 after being satisfied there is no discernible risk of repetition of repetition. Really, if that idiot would do it twice, he'd do it three times. Maybe he'll maybe he'll make it micro small this time to where you can't see it. But anyway, 
A high court judge rejected that second decision and referred Bram Hall's case back to the MPTS, which found that Bram Hall's removal from the medical register was an appropriate and proportionate sanction, according to The Guardian. Bram Hall's autographing didn't cause either patient any lasting physical damage, but caused one significant emotional harm. The medical tribunal said, oh, really? Oh, I would have kicked his yo. But anyway, it added that while he was of previous good character, his deeds was a gross violation of his patient's dignity and autonomy. Now we're talking and undermine public trust in the medical profession. No SH and y'all know the rest. I totally agree. And y'all fault black people for saying what we've been saying about how they've been experimenting on black people. When you got idiots like this throwing his initials on people's liver. <laughs> Bram Hall was also issued an immediate suspension order to um, order to cover a 20 day um, appeal period. Bram Hall, along with his partner, Fionn Murphy, appears to have turned the autographing incident into a novel. The, the pair um, self-published a title, The Letterman. <laughs> I ain't going to read that crap. But the book is not currently available for sale uh, on, on Amazon or anything else. But anyway, hold on. Uh, this dude who went to school for all these years because you're taking our organs out of people. That ain't nothing to be playing with. You got to be up. He decides to take some kind of argon laser and put a 1.6 inch, put 1.6 inches of his initials on some on people's liver. Now, he was only caught twice. Imagine how many livers I had got. And maybe them were the only two he did. We don't know. But, yo, I'm sorry. If I was that person and I was able-bodied after that and I knew how to find this dude, I would kick his ass, B. Yo, you straight violated, like majorly violated, dog. That's beyond even major. You got to get your ass kicked for a couple days straight. Like, yo, what? Yo, the sick people in this damn world, you know what I'm saying? And you wonder why people like us don't trust doctors in hospitals you never know what them fools doing omb signing out peace